Hey guys, it's been a little while and uh, I've just been busy and there's no excuse why I've not done a, a video recently, but I've got uh, two that I'm working on right now. This tonight is the Filter Queen Majestic. Um, I don't know how many are familiar with the Filter Queen. I sold these um, years ago, um, basically putting myself through college. Uh, great machine. This was one that I picked up um, at a steal, it was pretty filthy, and, and I'm gonna do better about taking before and after pictures. This is the uh, next to newest model. Uh, really, the only thing that Filter Queen changes on these machines are the graphics, a lot like Kirby. Um, they really don't change the design of the machine. The newest one is a red with the with the silver and all of that. But this is the Majestic. Um, in the top of the machine, it actually lists the model number and the serial number. Uh, this is the M360. Um, but like I said again, it's, it's the same machine. They just changed this decal on the front. That is really the only design that they've changed, feature they've changed on this machine over the last couple of years. So I want to do a quick walkthrough on this machine just to give you an idea of what it does. Um, this is the main unit. You've got your power head, your hose. The, the wand is not adjustable. I'll show you that in a second. I like the filter clean because it does a really good job of filtration. It's not a water vac. It's a, it's a cellulose filter cone vac. Um, all of the tools fit real nicely on the top here. So you've got your dust brush. You've got your upholstery tool. You've got a brush that fits on the upholstery tool. I'll leave that separate. Your crevice tool, and then your bare floor brush. It's got a groove on it so the dirt can get past the front brush without you having to maneuver it like that. Your, they call this the crown. This comes off, it holds all of your attachments. You can take this off if you want to. I prefer to leave it on. But that's what the machine looks like. It's really nice. It's The old units back in the day were made of all metal. Um, these now have a ABS plastic dirt container. This up here is stainless. Um, you've got a few plastic components on the top here at the handle. The wheel base is a neoprene uh, with ABS as well. The casters are uh, stainless and they are bowling ball material. I forget the name of it, but it's a bowling ball type material so it won't water scratch your floors up. Um, but that's the main unit. I already plugged this one in. You've got your on and off switch on the top here. You've got one, one speed is the one dot and then two speed is the, uh, the higher speed is the two dots. Not too loud. You've got a scent chamber here on the top. This is a felt pad that comes out. You can replace this, it's Velcroed in. So a lot of people will put essential oils or um, water-based type stuff that you can buy aftermarket. In the top here, so while you're cleaning, it's deodorizing or, or you know sending the air for you. Um, this is your blower port, so you can take the hose off, attach it here, and use this as a blower. Um, I used to do this all the time for people. You can literally take the machine and swing it around. It locks on so you can't damage it. Um, great for blowing up drains, blowing up inflatables, that type of stuff. But that is your scent chamber. I like to put eucalyptus in it, especially if you're stuffy or the half stinks. Um, but that's your main unit. Your motor, you have two clamps on each side. You just pop those loose. The motor portion lifts off. Now this motor will still continue to run. There's no safety mechanism. Y'all can't see it, but there, you can actually unscrew this guard. These guards back in the day were all metal as well. They're now plastic. There is a secondary filter up against the motor in here. And every, depending on how often you vacuum or how often you change the filter and dump the dirt, um, every, they say three months or every three times you dump, you need to change the acid filter. M most of the time, every six months to a year. 
so it's not anything that huge. It just keeps really no dirt or anything is getting through these filters here. But if you were to not line up your filter cone and perhaps got some dust in here, this filter, much like a Mila filter, would catch that dirt before it got to the motor. So, but that's your main motor. Now I've got two filters in here. Most units come with just the cellulose filter. It's a comb filter. And this is this works off of uh, centrifugal force. It actually spins the dirt around the container, thus the round dirt container. This cellulose filter cone um, is designed where dirt can't pass through it like a traditional filter bag. Fil filter bags you have anywhere from three to six to seven layers of filter bag on top of each other and then they make it into that bag. And so the thing behind a filter bag is dirt will clog the pores of that bag and you lose your airflow. The way the filter coin works, and you've got a deflector in here too, it actually sucks the dirt in, spins the dirt around the container, and you'll hear it if you suck up marbles, that was one of the demo things I used to do. Suck up marbles or rocks, you'll hear them in here spinning around. That's what your dirt's doing, is spinning around this filter cone. This cellulose filter is, is uh, very, very thick, so dirt can't penetrate it. I've never opened a filter queen, and I used to do repairs on these things, and had this thing just filthy. It's always white if you install it correctly. Um, it's, it's a great filter. On top of that, they have what they call a Metapure. I don't really do the Metapure. This is just an activated charcoal filter that I purchased, and this fits on top. You can actually put the charcoal, Metapure, and the cellulose filter together, so you've got three filters stacked up. That makes this a hospital-grade type machine. Um, the filter, the charcoal filter, actually just keeps all the odors or anything like that from coming through the machine. Like a traditional vacuum, it just keeps this, the vacuum from stinking. Because um, you keep six months worth of dirt and bacteria in this dirt container, it will reek every time you cut it on, unless you have some type of charcoal filter in place. The dirt container, when you get ready to dump this, you just take it outside, dump it in the trash can, dump it out in your disposable area, wherever you put that. You can bring it in and wipe it out with a wet paper towel or cloth, let it dry. I like this because everything on this unit is washable. I don't recommend washing it every time you dump it, but it is, I had to wash this one by hand in the sink. So, um, and then your wheel base, like I said, it's a neoprene, so it won't, it won't damage your furniture if it hits it and the wheel will spin 360 degrees on it. So all you do to put this thing together, I always put the dirt air intake above a wheel, gives it balance. And you've got three tabs on your filter cone. When you set this motor on and always line up the power port above the nozzle, just make sure that all three tabs are sticking out. And these clamps actually lock the wheels on. So that's all there is to put the machine together. It's a very, very easy machine. I love them because they're very easy machines to work on. There's not a lot to them, but they work. And I would guess the machine, maybe eight pounds, nine pounds with no dirt in it. It's not heavy. I mean, you can pick it up with a finger. The hose has a rubber seal in the inside of this thing, and you got errors that tell you where to line. You got three little notches on the on the uh, air intake. Basically, you just connect the hose. Connect the hose. I did it wrong. It says top on the top of this thing. I'm doing it wrong. And then connect your power cord. Pigtail. Everything now with filter coin is direct connect. Um, so everything locks into place. You've got an on and off switch here for the power nozzle. Um, gas pump handle, so here it, it's easy to use. It doesn't hurt your hand. The only thing I wish they would change down the road, I don't know they ever will, is to make this an adjustable wand. This is just a solid unit. Um, be very careful, the design flaw on this is, this is all plastic, so if you hit, these are spring-loaded, 
if you drop this on the floor by accident, you could crack these. I have I had one a couple months ago that came in, and you can't replace this. So I had to order a new wand for it. But I would love to see Filter Queen introduce an adjustable wand on this. But that's your wand. We'll hold all of your attachments on the end of it as well. Your power head is a very small power head. I like that it's very lightweight. Um, there's no lights on it. Um, just a chevron brush roll on this thing. Um, this one was pretty nasty. I don't know if y'all can see it on the video, but there are four, four screws that hold this plate in place. And when this one came in, the screws had rust on them. Evidently the person that had had this left this sitting in a damp area. Um, so I cleaned this as best I could, lube, lube, put lubrication on the wheels and stuff. Everything looks good, it runs great. Um, but that's your power head. So it's built up majestic on the top. No frills to it, it works. Um, and I will do a quick It locks into place too, so it's not gonna fall, but you have to turn the hose sideways for it to stay. Otherwise, it's gonna feel tilt back. I'm gonna cut it on high speed. You can see it's not loud. Technically, this is how you're supposed to vacuum anyway. Pull it behind you. I've seen some people do this. You got it along, whatever works for you. 